Hey guys, it's Rachel from the Little Green Lamb and today I have a book review on Confess by Colleen Hoover. So this is a standalone book. This book review will be spoiler free and if I'm looking down or over I'm looking at my notebook which is sitting on my lap where I'm keeping score on the same track. I'm keeping score of plot, characters, cover, suspense, and overall in terms of reading very soon. 5 to 5 and not so soon 1 to 5. So basically Confess is about a girl named Auburn and she's very mysterious. It says she's lost everything important to her on the back and she's trying to rebuild her life. So she walks into a Dallas art studio where she meets Owen Gentry and starts to work there. Um, and basically she takes chances. Owen has a major secret. Aud Auburn, I was always going to say Autumn. Auburn has a secret of past two. And it says to save the relationship, all Owen needs to do is confess. But in this case, the confession could be much more destructive than the actual sin. So this book is very it has a lot of layers on it there's a lot of secrets in this book and yeah I'm just gonna basically get into it so I give a four out of five so the first half of the book took me a long time to get into it took me over at least page 100 to really get into the story because it was kind of the characters are very distanced which I found very hard to get into a story when they're so distant um, both main characters because this does take place um, this does have alternating perspectives so we have a chapter of Auburn um, coinciding with a chapter of Owen and back and forth so it was kind of hard to get into the characters, not only because they're mysterious, but also because we're not in just one character's point of view. Um, the second half of the book definitely picked up. So if you're reading the first half and you're like around page 70 or 80 where I was, and I was like, I'm not really enjoying this, which is kind of weird because I've loved every single Colleen Hoover book I've read. So I was kind of concerned. But then I got past the little hump of page like 100, 0 to 100 or 1 to 100, and it got much, much better. So don't give up on this halfway through. Keep, well, not halfway through, but... You know what I mean. Keep going with it because it gets definitely much better in the second half. The things I liked about the plot was I did like the secrets, but at the same time I felt like there's too many secrets, which made the characters very distant. Um, I'm going to get more into that when I talk about the characters specifically. But I really liked how the plot progressed in the second half of the book. Like, if the first half was a little bit faster, I find the first half's pacing is very slow, and it definitely speeds up a lot during the second half. And the second half definitely really changed my opinion because this was looking at about to be a three out of five for plot but the second half definitely bumped it up a number so that's how much better it is um characters gave a four out of five at first owen was kind of portrayed as very creepy now i don't know what it was about his character but how the writing was slanted he was kind of angled at you're looking at him and you're like he's so creepy but you know he's like from the back like those two are love interests that's no spoiler because it says on the back pretty much to save the relationship but like I don't know, it's just the writing was slanted, make it made him sound creepy. And then Auburn was so mysterious that it was kind of hard to get into her character. Like, you didn't really understand what these characters were going on about. Like, they were all so upset, but you're like, I don't know what you're upset about. And it took a while to get into their characters. Definitely the second half you understood more, and it was much more clear. But the first half, it was definitely hard to get into the characters and really know what they were feeling. So that's why I gave it a 4 out of 5. But it definitely, once you got to know their characters, their characters were very good. I really liked the two main characters. The side characters were okay but the two main characters definitely made up for all that um cover i give a five to five this is a beautiful cover if i do say so myself um here's the spine here's the back and also talking about cover since we're looking at visuals there are visuals throughout the book there is a section um of just pictures i don't really want to show them because spoilers but throughout the book there's stunning visuals very nicely done i really like that touch because it makes it feel even more like you're there. Like you can actually visualize what the you don't have to visualize what the paintings look like. You can see the paintings for the most part. And I just I really love the color scheme of this cover. I just think it's so pretty, and that's one of the reasons I really wanted to pick it up because it's really pretty and it's a Colleen Hoover book. So what could be better? Um, and suspense, I give a four out of five. Now suspense, first half of the book again, but the second half I was walking to my cousin's house, and it's like a forty five minute walk from my house. And it was a really hot day, and I just was like, can I keep walking? Like, this is just getting so good. Um, and definitely kept my interest. I could, I was reading this always at night, like, when I was tired, and I was like, I can't read anymore because I know if I read more, I'm going to get more addicted to it. So, it's suspense definitely kept me going. And then, overall, I give the book a 4 to 5. I definitely read this again soon. It's not my least favorite Colleen Hoover book, but it's not my favorite. It's, like, stuck in the middle of... Um, my favorite to least favorite of her books. Even though I love all her books, there's some that I love more than others. This is definitely one right in the middle. Um, and yeah, 
I was pretty good read overall, um, but not my favorite of her books. So that has been my review on Confessed by Colleen Hoover. I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.